Welcome to October, where every day we have new highs. Well, maybe not every day, but today was definitely one of those days. Today, Bitcoin set up a new high here. As you guys can see, we went up as high as 56,238, setting up a new high that we have not seen since let's check back when's the last time we actually saw that price may 12th so this is the highest that the price of bitcoin has been since may 12th hopefully you guys watched our video from last week on friday when we told you guys don't miss bitcoin's next move guys we told you a week ago that this was coming in october then we told you again on monday that we were coming for $50,000. The same way that we told you back in August that Bitcoin was probably going to be bearish in September. So we've been, I'm not gonna say predicting, but we've just kind of been going back in history, grabbing the data, historical data, and trying to make our predictions based on that. We predicted September being bearish for Bitcoin. We've predicted so far that October is bullish for Bitcoin. So you guys can see here that currently Bitcoin is up so far about 25% in October. And it's only October 8th, guys. It's only been a week. So what can we expect for the rest of this month? Let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel, as always, is to empower the community with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. If you guys enjoy this video, also smash that like button as it helps us out a ton. Let's go ahead and dive into today's video. Alrighty guys, so first off, let's talk about the trade setups that we did on Monday's video. We gave you guys two different trade setups that popped. The first one, of course, was at $48,000 bounce back entry. As you guys can see here, if I move this out of the way, that is to the top from the bottom from the entry of 48,000 to the top, that's a 17% move. If you add the 10X leverage like we do to our trades when you trade with leverage, like we do over on Bybit, that's 171% profit on that trade. Now let's say that you missed that trade and instead you took the $50,000 entry. That was a 12% move up to the top of where we went today, which if you add in the 10X leverage like we do, that's 123% profit on that trade. So both those trades were extremely profitable, guys. If you took it, congrats. So on the Ethereum side, the 3,500 entry finally hit. And if, as you guys can see here, it didn't move as much as Bitcoin as it's lagging behind a little bit right now, but you can see that it's still a 5% move added in with some 10X leverage. That's a 51% profit on that trade. If you guys missed any of these trades, do not worry. We will hit you with some more trade setups for the weekend today so what we are seeing today in the charts you can see that we're getting some consolidation and continuation to the upside we've now broken like we said earlier this week we broke and invalidated that head and shoulders pattern which is of course a bearish reversal pattern now by breaking up above and higher than this the head on the head and shoulders pattern we have invalidated that pattern therefore it is no longer intact it no longer is valid and we can continue to the upside without worrying about a reversal at this point due to the head and shoulders pattern so what can we expect over the weekend now as you guys already know during the weekends it's usually low volume sometimes we might get a move up randomly so it's kind of hard to predict what i do predict usually is coming into sunday when the volume comes back in there's usually some volatility and some movement going on there now i'm still expecting continuations up i i am expecting probably some i'm not surprised if there's any type of consolidation at our current range after such a big break, we've had basically four days of red in a row. We had one little pullback and kind of, we're kind of back to consolidation at this point. 
I would not be surprised if we had something like this where we kind of consolidated within this range here before a continuation move to the upside here. But again, that's just one way that it could go throughout the weekend. Another way is that it can just at some point pop up like it kind of did today already and tested that 56K area. I'm expecting it to break that at some point. If if it's, if it's we're going to break it, it's probably going to be Sunday going into Monday. As it, of course, tomorrow, I'm expecting low volumes probably tonight probably expecting low volumes as well and sunday early sunday low volumes then as we get into the afternoon and at night once the futures market opens I'm expecting volume to pick up we can get some volatility at that point possibly a break here and a big move going into monday so it's all bullish right now the sentiment is very bullish here um, but of course when there, whenever there's big moves like this you can expect pullbacks maybe to retest this previous resistance area, which is of course at $50,000 zone. We do have some minor support at 52 and then of course comes 50K, but we're now into the next range of trading, which of course is between 50,000 to 65,000. That is our previous all time high. So what does this mean? We have, we have a big chance to break this previous all-time high at this point. Now the scenarios to break these all-time highs are back in play, especially now during October and November, which are the most bullish months for Bitcoin. So guys, you need to be invested in Bitcoin right now. If you've sold for any reason at any point in time, you guys need to be in it right now. I'm expecting us in this fourth quarter to break the previous highs um, and set new all-time highs by november by this month maybe november december for sure i think at this point in ethereum you guys can see that we are it's basically following bitcoin although it is lagging behind a little bit now we did break that 3500 resistance here that you can see uh we had trouble at first we finally broke above it and now i'm expecting a move up to 4000 very soon as it catches up to bitcoin's move you can see here last time we broke 3500 we ran all the way up to 4000 i'm expecting something like that again a run up to 4000 and once we break above 4000 i'm expecting to set new all-time highs retest previous all-time highs and set up new all-time highs as long as bitcoin continues being bullish whether it's moving up or it's just consolidating i'm expecting ethereum to also continue up so let's go ahead and talk about some trade setups that we're going to be watching over this weekend before we do that don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and turn on those notifications also if you guys enjoyed this video smash that like button for us one time and if you have any questions drop it in the comments so the first trade that we're watching for this weekend is that rebreak above 55k. You guys already saw what was the potential when we get that break above 55. We went all the way up above 56k today. And I definitely believe that if we can break again above 55 and hold above 55, we should be heading up towards the $58,000 area for Bitcoin's price. 58,000 is that next resistance, and after that, it's 60,000. So above 55K, there's 58 and 60. So it's a potential $5,000 move in Bitcoin if we can close above 55. So what we're doing is just using that break above 55 to enter new uh, long trades and uh, taking profits along the way. If we have any type of uh, pullbacks, during the next few days then the first level we're watching is 52,000 for a bounce back entry the second level of course is fifty thousand dollars in ethereum that next level that we're watching is a break above thirty seven hundred dollars for we're, we're only risking about one percent on that move of course the bigger move is a break above four thousand dollars for our next long trade and if there's any pullbacks same thing as bitcoin we're looking at that level where the fibonacci is which is $3,500 for that bounce back entry. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications. 
And let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you like what we've done today. We've kind of switched up the way that we're dropping content this week. Let us know what you think about that. Thank you guys so much. I know the video is a little bit different today is because I'm doing it on my laptop. I'm out of town right now, but I still wanted to give you guys some content for today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend, guys. As always, peace and love.